So I have my dry black beans and I'm gonna get a container to put them in. I'm gonna do about two cups of dry beans. And then I'm gonna cover this with water. So I have this filled with water so that the beans are completely covered, plus like an extra inch or two above it. And then we're gonna let this sit for at least eight hours or overnight. I prefer to do this overnight because I can just set it in the evening before I go to bed and that way they'll be um, kind of ready to go for me to start working with them tomorrow. Or I like to put them in first thing in the morning. Um, so as soon as I get up, I'll soak them. So again, they can kind of soak for about eight hours and then we can do the next step. So once they have soaked for quite a long time, you can start kind of squishing the bean a little bit and it will flex. You'll also notice that the water is kind of very dark and murky. Things have kind of soaked out of the beans. So we want to um, drain out that water and just rinse it all off. So I'm going to just dump everything into my colander and we're going to give that a rinse. If there's any beans that don't look right, you can take them out at this time. And I do like to kind of go over it until the water coming out of it does rinse clear as opposed to kind of that brownish. Once I have my beans washed, we're going to put them into the slow cooker. Add a little bit of salt. And then we're going to fill it with water. And you want the water to completely cover the beans, plus about one or two inches extra on top. I'm going to put our lid on. And then we're gonna turn it on low and let it cook for about six to eight hours. Once my beans have finished cooking, I do let them just rest a little bit so this is not super hot. And if you pull out one of your beans, you should be able to squish it and see how it kind of, not necessarily falls apart, but it is definitely soft. So it all like split. Um, so that way we know that it is cooked all the way. So there's still kind of this brown liquid from the beans. So again, I like to dump this out. And I just dump it right into my colander. And then I will rinse these beans until they, the water runs uh, clear. All right, so that looks good. So these are now ready to put into casseroles, stews, soups, whatever it is that you want to use your beans for.